What's up guys? I'm John the Potter and today I just wanted to do a quick video uh, kind of as a tribute to Warren McKenzie. So I found out on New Year's Eve that Warren McKenzie had died at the age of 94. And if you don't know who Warren McKenzie is, he has been one of the most influential potters of our generation. There's really two people that kind of started the studio potter revolution where it was all about functional work that people could use, uh, and that was Bernard Leach and Soji Hamada. Soji Hamada, I, I can't remember how you pronounce that. Those two are a little older, um, like further back, they're both passed away by now. But then Warren McKenzie uh, was from Minnesota and he was probably the single most influential studio potter after the Bernard Leach Hamada time frame. Warren McKenzie, he went and uh, learned in England from Bernard Leach and he spent the majority of his life teaching pottery and making pottery in Minnesota. So he lived in Stillwater, Minnesota, which is just 40, 45 minutes from here. He was just a legendary teacher at the Uni University of Minnesota. He taught many, many potters. He inspired so, so, so many people to create functional mugs, plates, bowls. He had a very, uh, a very style similar to the Bernard Leach era. So I never met Warren McKenzie. I never studied under Warren McKenzie. Um, but he, since I learned about him, I really looked up to him and I've learned a lot from him. So I just, it's amazing the reach that he had throughout the world, really. And he probably never realized it. This was probably about a month ago. I was talking and I was like, I really want to interview Warren McKenzie because philosophy about pottery and selling pottery and pricing pottery and why you pot it's like so good but yeah Warren McKenzie is still alive he still throws which is like amazing anyway I'm really gonna try and interview him and uh, I think that could be super fun he's from Minnesota I gotta capture that before he's no longer it would have been a great opportunity and it makes me very very sad that I did not try and reach out earlier because now I missed the opportunity. I, I wanted to make a video about him, I wanted to put his story up on YouTube um, and I did not get that opportunity. So that is a lesson for me in if I have an idea and something that really needs to be done, I should, I should just go for it. But if you haven't looked up Warren McKenzie, look up his work, look up his story, he's got a great story. There's a podcast on the Tales of the Red Clay Rambler podcast about him and you know, he, one of the things that I think I took, uh, I take away from Warren McKenzie the most is his mentality on pricing. Like at, at his age, 94, his, he could have charged anything for the pots that he was making. He could have charged hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars, but he never would. He would, he would only charge a price that he thought people would actually use it. So I think that is just such a, a valuable lesson, you know, like people, it's like, why are you making pottery? Are you making it to make a lot of money? Are you making it to so that people use it? Are you making it so that people have it in their homes and they want to look at it? So it's just his mentality about pottery, why you pot, was just so inspiring to me that I just wanted to say, like, Warren McKenzie, rest in peace. You did a phenomenal, phenomenal job making an impact on this world through your art and your ceramics and your pottery. And I can only hope to do a small fraction of what you have done. Um, it made me very, very sad when I found out that he had passed. I know that he was 94 and he'd worked with clay. Someone said, uh, I read somewhere that in his 70s, he was still making 600 to 800 pots a month. So just an incredible story, incredible man. This will be a short little video that I put up and I hope that, you know, if you've been inspired by me, um, I could not have done what I am doing now currently without the inspiration of Warren McKenzie. So, cheers to Warren McKenzie, to all the pots. I'm sorry that I did not get to talk to you, interview you, um, but just know that you've inspired me as well as countless others. All right, we'll see you in the next video.